A network of portals set up in shipping containers is giving people the chance to meet face-to-face -face with others from Africa, Asia, Europe, the Middle East, South America, without leaving their own cities. The company that sets these up is Shared Studios. Its portals are funded by public or private organizations. It depends on who wants to host a portal. What's needed is access to land, electricity, internet access, people to run the portals, and their use is free to the public. The connections are immersive, interactive, and international. I want to talk to someone who has a really different life experience from myself. Behind its golden exterior, this shipping container in the middle of downtown Los Angeles is a portal to the world. I am Robbie, and this is Ahmed. We are from Iraq. Tell me a little bit about what life in Erbil is like. You know, we are refugees. Equipped with immersive audio-visual technology, the portal allows for casual interaction between people in different parts of the globe without the restrictions of a computer screen. When you enter it, you feel like you're in the same room as someone in an identical shipping container somewhere else on Earth. Amar Bakshi launched the first portal in 2014 between New York and Iran. We're trying to create a global public space where people from all walks of life and all types of different institutions can come together on any, everything from a conversation with a stranger to play to collaboration. The strength of the network is its diversity. There's about two dozen portals permanently located around the world, from Afghanistan to Mexico. Every location communicates at some point with every other portal, and all are welcome. Each of our portals is staffed by a local curator. They maneuver the politics and the messaging necessary to operate in all these sites. It is the job of the curators to engage their communities and invite passers-by to enter the portal for a chat. They also schedule reoccurring events. We hear so many stories of people having the ability to be anonymous and to then express cruelty to others, and this is the antithesis of that. What do people think of this portal there in Iraq? You can get an, a new form of information about the cultures, about the life in other countries outside of Iraq. Rami and Mustafa and my new friend. Masalala. Masalala. Stephanie Elam, CNN, Los Angeles.